When we start looking at the fetal pig, we'll start with the digestive system and the oral cavity. Now, in this particular instance, you can see how the oral cavity has been opened up. So we've actually removed the mandible and pulled it back or reflected it back. What we can see at this point now is the opening of the oral cavity. We can see the top of these ridges, that's the hard palate. And the portion right behind it, which has the more smoother section, is going to be the soft palate. The tongue comes back, and right at the base of the tongue, we can see this little flap right here. This flap is the epiglottis. That's your epiglottis. Now, if you go just below that flap, you can see there's an opening right here. The opening that the probe's going into is going to be the glottis. It's the space below the epiglottis. So that's the glottis going down. Now, the glottis, you can see, goes right in. That's because the glottis heads all the way down towards the trachea. But we're looking for the esophagus, because this is digestive. We're looking for food. The esophagus itself is this larger, kind of almost crescent moon-shaped opening back here. It's going to be on the posterior, or in this case, the dorsal side of the pig, and goes down towards the stomach, the esophagus. So what else is visible in the oral cavity here? When you close things back up a little bit, and you start looking on the lateral side a little bit, you can start to see a little bit of the parotid gland. And this one, unfortunately, had a little bit removed. But you can see some of this tissue right here, it sounds glandular. That's part of the parotid gland. This large muscle right here, for reference, is part of the masseter muscle. So it's helping with mastication or chewing. Now, if you go down into the actual pig itself, the trachea and esophagus run straight down through the thoracic cavity. In the thoracic cavity, if you kind of look towards the back here, you can see underneath the heart a little bit you'll see a little bit of the trachea. Now when you see the trachea back here, you can see part of the esophagus, this tube back here. That tube is part of the esophagus. So you can see a little bit of the tube running on the back side, the posterior side. It'll come all the way down, and then it will pierce through the diaphragm and go towards the stomach. This structure Let's get that out of the way. This structure right here is the stomach. Now you can see at the top up here, the very beginning of the stomach, which is called the cardia region, where the esophagus meets. So this very starting point is the cardia. This curve up here, the curve is going to be the fundus. The main part is the body. And right where it ends, you can see here's a tube that goes out, this end portion is called the pylorus. There's a total of four regions to the stomach. Now coming from the stomach, we come down to this tube. That tube is going to be the start of the small intestines. Now the tube itself is referred to as the duodenum. It's the start of the small intestines. From the duodenum, we go on to this coil here. Now it's not going to be very easy to figure out exactly what is where, but it doesn't matter 100% because in the field pig, all these coils are referred to as the junoilium. They run from the duodenum all the way until you reach the large intestines. So when you start looking for the start of the large intestines, you're seeing that right here, you have the end of the junoilium, and it goes in and attaches or connects to this larger structure, which is part of the large intestines. The part it connects at is going to be the cecum. From there, you go through all the large intestines. You can go up through some little bit of ascending, some transverse, the descending comes down over here, until you get down towards the very end, which you end up coming out through the rectum. Now, that is going to be part of the alimentary canal. You see where the food goes, from mouth through anus. But there are other organs, other structures that are eating in this. This portion right here 
is going to be the liver. Now you can see there are multiple lobes to the liver. So the liver itself is part of the accessory glands. Accessory because it's not actually having food travel through it. If you go underneath the liver, on the underside, you can see this portion right here, this green. Let's get this up here a little bit. That green right there is going to be the gallbladder. So you'll notice that the gallbladder is going to be greenish color because of the color of bile. Now, the gallbladder itself is going to run down, and you're going to see this duct right there. This duct coming off the gallbladder is called the cystic duct. But we also need to look for a few other things. We're looking for the pancreas. Well, find the stomach, and then go right where the stomach meets the duodenum, and right about there is going to be the pancreas. So if we open this up a little more, you can see the pancreas is right there. It's a portion of this glandular tissue. So this is the pancreas right here. It's a portion of this glandular tissue. It's just below or inferior to the stomach and curled inside the first curve of the duodenum. Out here you also have the spleen. This long flat structure on the lateral side of the stomach is going to be the spleen. So a bunch of different structures and pieces that make up the digestive system of the fetal pig.